Flying insects are amazing. Think about it. A tiny bee with a tiny brain flying at 25 kilometers an hour. Can you imagine how fast that would be if the bee was my size? And still they managed to not crash into things. How is this controlled? How is this even possible? To be able to safely navigate through complex environments with this speed, you basically need to be a superhero. My name is Nelly and I study flight control in bumblebees. So, how do insects control their flight? Well, they use information about optic flow. Optic flow is image motion generated on the retina of the insect as they are flying through the environment. You can also experience optic flow. We all can. To do that, imagine that you are sitting on a train. And this train takes you for a ride through a forest. Outside the window of the train, you will see trees passing by like this. And this image motion will give you the impression that the train is moving really fast forward. But now, the train is continuing over an open field. The lack of trees outside the window, the lack of image motion, will now give you the impression that the train is slowing down. And this information is exactly what insects are using. By estimating the rate of this optic flow, the speed of the image motion, insects can estimate how fast they are flying, their height above ground, and their distance to nearby surfaces. Optic flow is greatest 90 degrees laterally in the visual field of the insect, so here. And by measuring optic flow here, an insect will gain maximum information about, let's say, their forward speed. However, if you are a bumblebee flying in a forest, constantly facing obstacles ahead of yourself, it is not very efficient to always and only measure optic flow here. Because you will simply fly into things before you are able to see them. So, how can bumblebees fly without crashing? How is this possible? In my research, I've been video recording bumblebees flying in flight tunnels of different width and complexity. And I have found that bumblebees are measuring optic flow in their frontal lateral visual field instead. So here. And by measuring optic flow ahead of yourself, a bumblebee are able to detect changes in the environment before they reach these changes. They can thereby adjust the flight path accordingly and avoid collision. Now this information takes me one step closer to understanding visually guided obstacle avoidance in flying insects. And this was my story about how tiny superheroes can manage to do great things. Thank you.